Hello dearies! <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of you in class today because this is the very beginning of a big unit on breast cancer. And breast cancer is a topic that is on everybody's mind these days. So I guess you could say that we have our breasts on our chests and in our heads. And that's understandable with all the hype about breast cancer all around you. But it's not necessarily logical. And in this unit, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about breast cancer in such a way that you'll know, probably for the first time in your life, whether or not you need to have your breasts on your mind, or whether you can just let them rest peacefully on your chest. As you know, I always start at the beginning. And the beginning of any conversation about breast cancer begins with breast anatomy. So this tutorial is on the anatomy of your breasts. If you've been a student here at Menopause University for any length of time, you know that I don't teach anatomy or anything <laughs> in an ordinary manner. I mean, you've seen me teach you about your cervix with a bagel and your uterus with an avocado and your ovaries with walnuts. <laughs> Why I always turn to food for anatomy lessons I don't know, but I kind of like using food for body parts. So in keeping with this theme, today's anatomy lesson will also entail food. Now in my book, in both the first and the second editions, all of chapter 30 is on breast cancer. But in the book, I get right to the topic of breast cancer. Here on YouTube, I'll take the time to ensure that you understand the parts of your breasts that become cancerous if you get breast cancer. Now, here I have a couple of breast models. Two of them, one here and one here. Now, these are nice, but I just don't think they're fun enough. This one here depicts a completely normal breast. And this one depicts a breast bearing all sorts of pathology, but neither one really ensures that you're going to fully comprehend the anatomy of your breasts. So for this menopause Taylor anatomy lesson on your breast, I want you to think of your breast <laughs> as a salad. Now, you're probably furrowing your brow and saying, salad, how in the world does my breast resemble a salad? Just bear with me. I promise to make sense of my breast salad concept. <laughs> and I think the best way to make it sensible is to essentially construct a breast as we go along. And when we're done, we'll have a salad. So instead of describing the outside of your breast, which you can see, we'll start with the inside. And that way you'll understand why your breasts look like breasts. All right. The most basic anatomical structure of your breast is something called a lobe. Lobes are the sections of your breasts. Each breast has between 12 and 20 lobes. Your breast salad has 12 to 20 lobes in a circular arrangement throughout your breast. And they're actually quite pretty. And they remind me of those pinwheels we used to play with as kids. Don't you remember these? <laughs> but in keeping with our breast analogy to a salad, I think these pinwheels make a great plate for the salad. Essentially, a salad plate. So we're going to use the pinwheel itself as a salad plate. And since most salads begin with lettuce, We'll use one large lettuce leaf on our salad plate to represent each lobe. You know, my mom used to make the most beautiful salads ever <laughs> with these lettuce leaves on the bottom of the plate like that and everything else on top. They were just gorgeous. <laughs> so let's start the construction of our breast salad with a salad plate and lettuce. And I'm going to switch to a different pinwheel that doesn't have that handle on it. So. We're going to minimize our project by limiting the number of lobes to only six. Just be aware that there are actually 12 to 20 lobes. And for simplicity, we'll start this anatomy lesson by building just one single lobe. We'll put our lettuce on the plate 
and we'll start with one single load. Now, our next salad ingredient and anatomical breast structure is the lobular duct unit that together form a gland. And the best salad ingredient for that is a floret of broccoli. You see, if you look at a floret of broccoli, it consists of two parts. The head of the broccoli up here and the stalk down here. And the two together form the floret of broccoli that constitutes a lobular duct unit. The broccoli heads in your breasts are called lobules. A lobule is the part of the lobular duct unit that constitutes the actual gland that produces milk. And the broccoli stalks in your breast are called ducts. The stalk is the long, straight part that emanates from the head and it looks like a stem. A duct is the stalk that functions as a tube to carry milk to your nipple. Each duct travels all the way to your nipple and that's where the milk is delivered to your baby during nursing. So. The floret of broccoli is the functional anatomical structure in your breasts. And your breasts function as mammary glands. One mammary gland equals a lobule and a duct. Your breasts are nothing but glands that produce and secrete milk for your baby. And the broccoli floret consisting of its individual head and stalk are perfect representations of your breast lobule and duct units. Milk is produced in the lobules and it travels to your nipples via the ducts. And you have a bunch of these lobule duct units in each of the 12 to 20 lobes. So if we adjust our salad construction to reflect that, here is what we get. So now we've constructed the glandular component of your breast. There's more to your breasts than just glands. Separating these lobes into the individual 12 to 20 sections, you have fibrous tissue. The medical term is fibrous stroma. Fibrous stroma is the structural support of your breasts. You can think of it as the anatomical structure that keeps everything in place. It maintains the nice, pretty pinwheel arrangement of the glands. And notice that the word fibrous comes from the word fiber. Fiber is to plants what skeletons are to animals. So fiber is what holds your breasts up and makes them firm and perky and maintains their shape. So in keeping with our breast salad theme, there's fiber in a salad too. For our fiber ingredient in our breast salad, we're going to use bamboo shoots. The fibrous component of your breasts replicate and augment the pinwheel design of the lobes. And you essentially have fiber stroma between each lobe and extending to your nipple. So here's how that looks on our breast salad. So we have our gland here. And if we add our fibrous stroma, it's going to look something like this. Pretty, isn't it? <laughs> so far we have a lettuce, broccoli, and bamboo shoot salad. Now, we have to add the fourth ingredient to our salad, fat. Notice that there is still some empty space around our broccoli and between our bamboo shoots. In other words, there's space between the glands and the fibrous scaffolding in your breasts. And that space is filled with fat. The fat in our salad will be the major determinant of how caloric our salad is, right? The more fat, the higher 
the calorie count. Well, the same is true for your breasts. Fat determines the size of your breasts. If you have only a little fat, you have small breasts. If you have a lot of fat, you have large breasts. So the more fat, the larger your breasts. And the fat in your salad could be avocado, nuts, olive oil, any number of things. But for purposes of our demonstration, we're going to just use a glob of fat. So if I add fat to our breast salad, it then looks like this. So what we have now, my dears, is a breast salad. Do you see why I told you to think of your breasts as a salad? It, it's really pretty accurate, isn't it? So, now we have this. You've got four anatomical structures that dictate the function of your breasts. You've got the lobes, the glands, the fibrous stroma, which is the bamboo shoots, and the fat. And that makes a great breast salad of lettuce, broccoli, bamboo shoots, and fat. Isn't our breast salad more fun than the breast models? I mean, which do you like better? This or this? <laughs> but if you look at this model, you can see what I've taught you using our lettuce, broccoli, bamboo shoots, and fat. Here in this breast model, are the glands as lobes in the brown color. And the fibrous stroma is a tiny little white line that separates the glands into these lobes. And the yellow part surrounding the lobes is the fat. I just think our breast salad makes for a better breast anatomy lesson. And if you're a fan of photos, here's a couple of photos showing you what I've created as a breast salad. In this first photo, you see a black oval representing a lobe. So that's the lettuce in our breast salad. The purple glands are within the lobe, and there's nothing to specifically show the fiber or the fat. In this second photo, you see lobes in the very light yellow color. The glands are in that light purple, each consisting of a lobule and a duct. The fiber is outlining the lobes, and the fat is in the darker yellow color. Now, if we complete all six lobes of our breast salad, it looks like this. This is merely the single lobe we created duplicated six times, and in your breast, it's duplicated 12 to 20 times. This breast salad anatomy lesson will form the foundation for understanding your breasts, and that will help you better understand breast cancer. So, here we have it, our single lobe and our six lobes all together. So that's it for today. Go make yourself a lettuce, broccoli, bamboo shoot, and fat salad, why don't you? <laughs> you know, <laughs> my housekeeper doesn't speak a word of English, but in my office, she always sees all these crazy things that I use to make the props. And when she saw all this lettuce and broccoli, <laughs> <laughs> straw and fat globules, she, she asked me, Barbie, what is this stuff for? <laughs> so I explained the whole breast anatomy lesson to her in French. <laughs> and she understood it perfectly and she said, oh my gosh, this is so great. She says, Barbie, how do you come up with these ideas? How in the world do you think of broccoli when you think of a breast? <laughs> and I just shrugged my shoulders and said, I don't know, they just pop into my head. And at that, she informed me that my brain was definitely not like most brains. So apparently seeing your breast as a salad 
isn't normal, but I'm sure you will find it helpful as we move forward in this breast cancer unit. And next week we'll discuss the anatomical changes of your breasts through the ages. Be sure to go to menopausetaylor.me to schedule consultations and don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter and my channel right here and now. And have fun following me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Stories, and Pinterest. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>